Hi everyone, this is Ayan from Kolkata and you are watching part of the Exploding Bangalore series. Today we are going to visit the ISKCON temple at JP Nagar. So without wasting much time, come on, let's go, see you soon there. So here we meet Rupesh. Hi. He is our rider. So Rupesh, where are you going today? Actually we are going for today the destination called as ISKCON temple. And the destination Iskon Temple is located near Kanakpur Road. We will go through now Silk Silk Road Road. And Iskon Temple is mostly famous for uh, Lord Krishna. The Iskon Temple is in North Bangalore in Vaikuntha Road Hills, and it's easy to reach there from the city center. Starting from Martalli, we travelled approximately 24 km via the outer ring road, crossing places such as Belandur, Eco Space, Dodan Kundi, Kiarpuram, Silk Board, Hebbal, and finally reaching the Vaikunta Hills. It's a must visit place if you are in Bangalore. So, hey guys, we are standing in the Silk Board right now. Even in the Sunday morning, there is a huge traffic as you can see. And the riders after riding for more than 14 kilometers, they are feeling fully exhausted and uh, still yet to go. Another 15 kilometers we have to cover to reach the Iskon temple. The rest of the riders have arrived. And it's 7 a.m. in the morning. The weather is cloudy. My name is Rahul. So Rahul? How is the weather and how did you like the ride? Yeah, weather is very good actually. In Bangalore, it is suitable for everything. You can do each and every sports. But the one con is, you can see the traffic. Traffic is very bad. You will get it in complimentary. But you can get most out of this weather. Like any kind of sports you can do. Uh, biking, uh, cycling and all, all kinds of sports. Photography is restricted inside the Iskon temple to maintain the sanctity and the tranquility of the sacred space and respecting the religious practices and privacy of the devotees. To capture the temple's exterior beauty and share the experience, I adhered to these rules and focused on the video footage of the outside, thus ensuring a respectful and meaningful visit. The International Society for Krishna Consciousness or the ISKCON temples founded in 1966 by Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada promoted devotion to Lord Krishna. Since then, they have spread worldwide with a mission to educate and inspire people about the Vedic culture and spirituality. The ISKCON temples offer a heaven for spiritual seekers and a vibrant community. The Iskon temples have a special look that mixes the old and the modern styles. They have tall spires, detailed carvings and bright colors that make them beautiful and spiritual places. These temples are like a blend of traditional and modernity, making them welcoming for people who love art and culture and those seeking spirituality. 
The Iskon Temple is a mix of modern and traditional styles. It's pretty impressive with the tall gold-plated flagpost and detailed carvings. When you step inside, you will feel a calm and spiritual atmosphere. You will hear people chanting the Hare Krishna mantra which adds to the peaceful feeling. The main attraction here is the beautifully decorated statues of Lord Krishna and Radha. They are on a special altar wearing gorgeous outfits and surrounded by pretty flowers. The Iskon temples hold a special allure for devotees due to their vibrant devotion to Lord Krishna, serene atmospheres and spiritual teachings. They offer a sense of community and regular bhajan and aarti sessions. The beautifully adorned deities of Lord Krishna and Radha along with festivals and prasad create a unique and spiritually enriching experience that draws many devotees from all over the world. Ladies and gents washrooms are conveniently available here within the temple complex for the comfort of all the visitors. One of the interesting attractions of all the Iskon temples is the bookstore. Beside the main temple there is a library with ancient stuff and spiritual books. The gardens here are so really nice and peaceful. Throughout the year they have special events and festivals. The celebration during Janmashtami, Radha Ashtami and Diwali are particularly grand and attract people from all over the world. One of the cool things here is the Akshay Patra, a huge kitchen that provides free meals to a lots of people every day. It's heartwarming to see volunteers working so hard to help others. The Prasad Bhog was a delightful experience. The divine aroma and the flavors of the sacred kitchen at the Iskon temple were truly satisfying. Each bite felt like a spiritual journey, leaving me with a sense of inner peace and gratitude. As we conclude our visit to the enchanting Iskon temple in Bangalore, I am filled with gratitude for this spiritual journey. While we couldn't capture the inner sanctum, the smiles and the devotion on the faces of the tourists and devotees say it all. And guys, don't forget to thank my trusty travel companion, my bicycle, for making this journey to the Iskon Temple in Bangalore an eco-friendly and unforgettable adventure. Namaste, Hare Krishna, see you in the next video.